Hello, today we are going to review everything we learned in the first nine lessons. But first, let's, let's look at some new vocabulary. Take a look. A video recorder. A video recorder is a device that people use when they want to make a video of an important event. Next, a bow tie. A bow tie is a kind of tie that some men like to wear. Next, a lapel. A lapel is a part of the front of a coat or suit. Men occasionally wear a flower in their lapel. Next, to rehearse. To rehearse means to practice before a public performance, such as a play or concert. Okay, now let's begin today's lesson. How are you today, Linda? I'm tired. I went to a cafe with my friend yesterday. Oh, I'm sorry. How are you, Sylvia? I am good. I went to bed early. That's good. And Alberto, how are you? I am fine. I am happy. I am learning English. Great. So I asked everyone how you are. I can also ask, um, what's up? When I ask you that, I am asking, what have you been doing lately? Or what will you be doing in the near future? What's up, Sylvia? Not much. I watched TV last night and went to bed. Very good. What's up, Linda? I'm going to bed early tonight. I'm tired. OK, good. Alberto, what's up? I'm going to a concert tomorrow. My favorite band is playing. All right, great. Thank you, everyone. Let's begin with a review of time expressions. How exciting. Let's look at some examples. I will be in the classroom in one hour. Jim will come to class at 5 o'clock. The teacher will be here on Monday. So we can use in, at, and on as prepositions of time. Okay, for example, we use at to talk about a time of day. Let's look at some examples. The professor arrived at 3 o'clock. The class will finish at lunchtime. We can use on for days and dates. Examples. The teacher was born on June 4, 1976. My professor will give me a present on my birthday. OK, we use in for longer periods of time, for example, months or years. For example, my biology class will go to the forest in May. Next, Karen hates going to school in the winter. OK, now let's practice prepositions of time. Linda, when did you first start school? I first started school in 1981. My mother taped, taped me uh, getting on the bus on her video recorder. Oh, I'm sure you looked very nice. Sylvia, when don't you like going to school? I hate going to school in the spring. I want to be outside and I want to play football. Good. Alberto, what time did you come here today? I came here at 8 o'clock. OK. Linda, did you come to school on Christmas Day? Of course not. I was home with my family. So was I. All right. Thank you, everyone. OK. There are many other time expressions. Let's take a look. Around, for example, the students arrived around noon. Next. Later, Professor Harrison will arrive later. Next, early. Students should always come early. Until, don't come until class starts. Before, Mike will study before the test. And after, Mike will go to a party after the test. 
Okay, we know these, so now let's practice. Use these time expressions in your answers. Linda, when did you come here today? I came here on 9. I wanted to study before the lesson started. Very good. Sylvia, when will you leave here today? I won't leave until 5 o'clock. I will wait for a friend. All right, good. Alberto, what are you going to do later? I am going to go to the school library. I want to borrow a book. Thank you, everyone. Now, before everything else, we are going to look and listen. Look and listen. The principal left school early yesterday. The students can't leave before the bell rings. The new books will be here on Thursday. The French teacher started here in 1999. Read and repeat. Now, let's review prepositions of location. Prepositions of location. Now, remember, we reviewed in, at, and on as prepositions of time. Now, let's look at location. Take a look at some examples. Ken is at school. The manager is in his office. The pens are on the hairdresser's table. Now, let's review the prepositions of place we learned before. Look at these examples. Close to. His office is close to his father's office. Far from. His office isn't far from his father's office. In the front of. The pet store is in the front of the building. In the middle of, the hair salon is in the middle of the building. In the back of, the restrooms are in the back of the building. At the top of, there is always snow at the top of Mount Everest. At the bottom of, there is sand at the bottom of the lake. Okay, now let's practice. Please use prepositions of place in your answers, okay? Where is your parents' flat, Alberto? They don't have a flat. They have a villa. It's at the top of a hill. Oh, wonderful. Linda, where is your favorite cafe? It is near my house. It's at the bottom of a hill. Good. Sylvia, where is your favorite disco? It is in the big building near the museum. It is in the back of the building. All right, good. Alberto, where is your sister's bedroom? It is in the middle of our villa. It is next to the living room. Thank you. Linda, where is the bus station in Barcelona? It is in the middle of the city. It is close to my parents' flat. Very good. Sylvia, where is your scooter? It is at the garage. It is far from here. Good answer, everyone. Now, we're at the place to look and listen. Look and listen. The police station was far from the car accident. There were many golf balls at the bottom of the pond. I sat in the back of the room. There was an eagle at the top of the tree. Read and repeat.
let's review possessive adjectives. We use possessive adjectives to show possession or ownership, that we own something. Okay, let's look at some examples. I, possessive adjective, is my. For example, I have a belt means the same as it is my belt. Next, you, possessive adjective, is your. You have a belt, it is your belt. Next, she, the possessive adjective, is her. She has a belt, it is her belt. Next, he is his. He has a belt, it is his belt. Next, we, possessive adjective, our. We have belts, they are our belts. Next, they, possessive adjective, is there. They have belts, they are their belts. So, our possessive adjectives are my, your, her, his, our, and their. Again, my, your, her, his, our, and their. All right, now let's practice the possessive adjectives. Sylvia, how many blouses does your mother have? She has many blouses. We wear the same so size. This is her blouses. Her blouse. Oh, sorry, her blouse. Yes, good. Alberto, are you wearing a shirt or a t-shirt today? I am wearing a shirt. My father gave it to me uh, as a birthday present. Very good. You look very nice today. Thank you. Linda, what do your uncles wear in their lapels when they go to a wedding? I think they wear a kind of flower on their lapels. I think they wear carnations. Okay, great. Now it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. My boots are in my wardrobe. We brought our jackets. Greg hung his new suit on the hanger. Candace likes her new hat. Read and repeat. Now we're ready to review indirect objects. First, let's look at some examples. I gave a present to Ted. Now in this sentence, present is the direct object and Ted is the indirect object. An indirect object answers the question, whom or what? Some examples of verbs followed by indirect objects introduced by to are give, send, tell, or write. Okay, with some verbs, for is used with the indirect object. With these verbs, the indirect object follows the direct object. Let's look at these examples. Bob bought a present for Judy. I opened the gift for my grandmother. Okay, now with other verbs such as buy, get, and make, there are two possible patterns. Let's look at these. 
Tina bought a gift for Ed. Or you can say, Tina bought Ed a gift. Means the same. Next example, Joe got his son a new toy, or Joe got a new toy for his son. Same meaning. Next, my grandfather made a chair for me, or my grandfather made me a chair. All right, now we're ready to practice indirect objects. Linda, do you like birthday parties? I love them. I bought a bicycle for my brother at his last party. Great. And you, Alberto? Mm, we had a surprise party for my mom three months ago. I gave her uh, a new necklace. Oh, nice. I'm sure she liked it. Sylvia, have you ever had your own birthday party? No. My father always makes something nice for me. One year, he made me a new desk. Wow. Please ask him to make one for me. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Now we have look and listen for you. Look and listen. Yvonne bought us a wonderful gift. William got his wife a new radio for her birthday. Mom made me a delicious cake for the party. Grandmother sent a nice card to me. Read and repeat. Okay, let's review some modals now. Now remember, modals are verbs that are paired with other verbs to change their meaning, to give them a special meaning. Okay, they can express ideas such as intent, permission, or possibility. Let's start by looking at can for permission. Okay, let's look at some examples. I can go to aerobics class today. Dale says Larry can go to the swimming pool. Steve can't go to football practice. His mother won't let him. Okay, so that was can for permission. We can also use can for ability. Let's look at those examples. Joshua can play volleyball well. Olivia can't shoot that gun. Her eyes are bad. Liam can't ski at all. He has a bad back. So can for permission or can for ability. Okay, now let's practice. I think all of you like sports, right? Yes. Linda, can you play golf tomorrow? I can't play golf tomorrow. I have to study. Oh, I'm sorry. I know, I give you too much homework. <laughs> Sylvia, can you play golf tomorrow? I can play. I'll, I can play golf well. I bought new clubs. Great, you can teach me. Okay. Great. Alberto, can you play golf tomorrow? No, I don't want to. I can't play golf. I am terrible. Oh, that's too bad. Yes. Good job, everyone. Okay, let's review another modal. This one is should. Okay, when you use should, it means it is important to do something or it's a good idea. You're giving someone advice when you use should. Let's look at some examples. Good idea, using should. Gail should exercise. Karen shouldn't play basketball. 
The boys should go to the park to play soccer. They shouldn't go bowling tonight. Now let's try to practice. Sylvia, what should you do tonight? I should go to the football match. My favorite team is playing. Okay, I'll go with you. Sure. Alberto, what shouldn't you do tonight? I shouldn't go to the gym. I should study. Oh, okay. Linda, what should I do tonight? You should go to the basketball match with me and my friends. It's going to be a great match. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to the football match with Sylvia. But next time, I promise. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Now we can and should look and listen. Look and listen. I can't play hockey today. My father said it is too cold. Jody can play billiards well. Harriet shouldn't play tennis. Athletes should always practice. Read and repeat. Let's do one more review. Now we'll review may and might. So may and might express possibility. It means the same as maybe. They are usually used to refer to the future. Okay, may not and might not are, of course, the negative forms. Let's look at some examples. Ellen may go to a film tonight. Ellen might go to a film tonight. Same. Next, Josh may buy a new CD. Josh might buy a new CD. In the first sentences, there is a possibility that Ellen will go to a film, right? In the second sentences, there is a possibility that Josh will buy a new CD. May can also be used to express permission. Not only possibility, but also permission. Here are some examples. Alan may go to the film tonight. His father said it was okay. Next. Josh may buy a new CD. His mother said he had enough money. We can begin questions with may and might. For example, may I go to that film? Might we leave for the TV studio now? We usually don't use might for yes or no questions, but you might see it sometimes. All right, now let's practice. Sylvia, what are you going to do this weekend? Uh, I might go to the new film. I may go alone. My boyfriend might not come with me. Oh, okay. Alberto, what are you going to do? I may go to a film too. Um, I will go to the new Tom Cruise film. My mother said I may not go to the Jim Carrey film. There are some bad words in it. Okay. Linda, what are you going to do? I may stay at home. I may watch TV. I might listen to some CDs. Wonderful. Good job, everyone. Now we might look and listen. Look and listen. Alicia might not go to the new music store with us. Ali may go to the concert. Joe may not go with you. 
the girls may not drive to the concert. Read and repeat. Let's do an exercise using time expressions. Okay, Linda, you tell us three sentences using in, at, and on. Okay? Okay. And then Sylvia, you give us two sentences using around and later. Okay. And then Alberto, you tell us three sentences using until, before, and after. Does everyone o understand okay? Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. okay. Linda, what are your sentences? Here are my sentences. I'll go to library at noon. Uh, they opened their school in 1965, and Harry doesn't go to school on Mondays. Okay, I will go to the library at noon. They opened their school in 1965. Harry doesn't go to school on Mondays. Very good. Sylvia? Um, I will go to my geography class around 8 o'clock. Kate will leave for school later. Good. I will go to my geography class around 8 o'clock. Kate will leave for school later. All right, Alberto. Mike wants to leave for school before 8 o'clock. Mm, you can't leave class uh, until the bell rings. And the last, uh, Lyle can eat after he finishes his homework. Okay, good. Mike wants to leave for school before 8 o'clock. You can't leave class until the bell rings. And Lyle can eat after he finishes his homework. Good. Now, let's look at two pictures. The first one is a picture of the state of New York. Let's use prepositions of place to fill in the blanks. All right, Linda. First one is for you. Geneva is mm -hmm. New York City. That's easy. Genoa is far from New York City. Okay. Geneva is far from New York City. Yes. Okay. Newark is mm -hmm. Rochester. I choose Linda again. You ask me the easy ones. Okay, Newark is close to Rochester. Okay, good. Newark is close to Rochester. Very good. Okay, let's look at another picture now. This is a picture of a building. All right, Sylvia, the next one's for you. The post office is mm -hmm. the block. The post office is in the middle of the block. Good. The post office is in the middle of the block. Okay, Alberto. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten about you. Here is yours. The flag is mm -hmm. the office building. Alberto. The flag is at the top of the office building. Good. The flag is at the top of the office building. Very good. Here's another one. Paint store is mm -hmm. the office building. Sylvia again. The paint store is in the front of the office building. Good. The paint store is in the front of the office building. All right, good job, thank you. Now, let's do an exercise with possessive adjectives. Alberto, you go first. Maria bought a new coat. It is, mm-hmm, coat. It is her coat. Very good, it is her coat. Okay, let's see. This one's for you, Linda. 
Betty's parents have a new boat. It is、mm -hmm. boat. It is their boat. Okay. It is their boat. Good. Um. Let's see. Let's see. I know I have one for Sylvia. I have a new bow tie. It、That's, is、mm -hmm. bow tie. That's easy. It is my bow tie. It is my bow tie. Good job, everyone. Now let's do an exercise using indirect objects. So you are each going to Olive's birthday party. Give us two sentences using indirect objects, and then tell us the indirect object. Okay. 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 All right, Sylvia. What's yours? Here are my sentences. I bought Olive a new ring. I bought a ring for Olive.、Uh, Olive is the indirect object. Very good. I bought Olive a new ring. I bought a ring for Olive. Very good. Alberto, yours, please.、Mm, I made Olive a new dress.、Um, I made a new dress for Olive. Uh, Olive is the indirect object here too. Very good. You're talented. You can make clothing. I made Olive a new dress. I made a new dress for Olive. Very good, Linda. Okay. I gave a card to Olive. I gave her a card, and Olive is still the indirect object. Yes, I gave a card to Olive. I gave her a card. Very good, everyone. Now let's practice with the modals can and should. Okay, the first one's for you, Sylvia. Clark, mm mm, play tennis. He has a broken foot. That's easy. Clark can't play tennis. Okay, very good. Clark can't play tennis with a broken foot. Now can he? All right, Linda. Clark, mm-hmm, play tennis. He has a test tonight. I'm not sure. I think the best answer is Clark shouldn't play tennis. He has a test tomorrow. Yes, I think you're right, Linda. Clark shouldn't play tennis because he has a test tonight. All right, Alberto, one for you. We, mm-hmm, go to the. Football match tomorrow. It won't be so crowded. We should go to the football match tomorrow. Okay, we should go to the football match tomorrow because it won't be so crowded then. Okay, here's one for all of you. We、mm -hmm, learn English easily. We work hard. We can learn English easily. We work hard. Thank you, Sylvia. Thank you, Alberto. Thank you, Linda. Okay, we can learn English easily. Okay. Next is may, might. Remember possibility. Okay, Linda, you give us two sentences using may. Use an actress as your subject. Okay. Okay. All right. And Sylvia, you give us two sentences using may, not, and use a singer as your subject. Okay. And Alberto, you give us two sentences using might, and use a director as your subject. Okay. This should be fun. Linda, what are your sentences?、Um, the actress may rehearse tonight. The actress may sign autographs after the show. Good. The actress may rehearse tonight. The actress may sign autographs after the show. Very good, Sylvia. The singer may not、uh, sing ten songs tonight because she has a sore throat. The singer may not talk with the audience. Very good. The singer may not sing ten songs tonight. She has a sore throat. The singer may not talk with the audience. All right, excellent, Alberto.、Mm, the director might make a new film this year. The director might ask Brad Pitt to be in his new film. Very good. The director might make a new film this year, 
and the director might ask Brad Pitt to be in his new film. Very good answers, everyone. Thank you very much. Now it's time to listen and write. Listen and write. Listen and write the sentences. He got on the school bus early today. The man was at the top of the mountain. Suburbs are always close to a big city. The answer is at the bottom of the page. It was their clothing store. Tommy gave his uncle a new book for his birthday. Ken can't play chess because he forgot his glasses. It is raining, so we should cancel the volleyball match. I may cook hamburgers for dinner. I might not attend the dinner for your grandfather. Now check your answers. He got on the school bus early today. The man was at the top of the mountain. Suburbs are always close to a big city. The answer is at the bottom of the page. It was their clothing store. Tommy gave his uncle a new book for his birthday. Ken can't play chess because he forgot his glasses. It is raining, so we should cancel the volleyball match. I may cook hamburgers for dinner. I might not attend the dinner for your grandfather. Now, read the story and answer the questions about it. Read and answer. Frank is an architect. He was born in 1976. Tonight, his friends are having a big party for him. He will get married in one month. Unfortunately, Frank can't come until 9 o'clock. He has to meet with his boss. His friends are buying many gifts for him. Harry made him a new armchair. Terry bought a new TV for him. His friends are very thoughtful. The party will be in the back of a sporting goods store. There is a big room. It is close to everyone's house. Frank's grandparents might come. They live far from the store. Frank's sister may drive them there. Her car is new. Everyone should have a good time. There will be a jazz band there. There will be lots of beer and soda. Some people might have to call a taxi after the party. They shouldn't drink and drive. Now answer the questions. What is Frank's job? Why are his friends having a party for him? Why can't Frank come until 9 o'clock? What did Harry make for him? What did Terry buy him? Where will the party be? Is the party far from everyone's house? Who may drive Frank's grandparents to the party? What kind of band will play at the party? What should some people do after the party? Now let's check your work. What is Frank's job? Frank is an architect. Why are his friends having a party for him? He will get married soon. Why can't Frank come until 9 o'clock? He has to meet with his boss. What did Harry make for him? Harry made a new armchair for him. 
What did Terry buy him? Terry bought him a new TV. Where will the party be? The party will be in the back of a sporting goods store. Is the party far from everyone's house? No, it is close to everyone's house. Who may drive Frank's grandparents to the party? Frank's sister may drive them there. What kind of band will play at the party? A jazz band will play at the party. What should some people do after the party? They should call a taxi. All right, good job. Thank you. See you.